This video demonstrates how to install Tortoise Kit on Windows 10 machines. Um, Tortoise Kit is a GUI interface over Git. So first you have to install Git. See the video for installation of Git before this and install it if you haven't done it already. And then you can install Tortoise Git so you don't have to use the command lines of Git and instead you can instead you can use the GUI interface using keyboards and mouse. Uh, so what you do uh, is to open the browser and after that, uh, uh, type Tortoise Git download uh, 2.80 at the moment that I'm recording this video is the latest version. So this always tells you what the latest version is. Just click on that one. Make sure you select the proper uh, uh, distro for your uh, machine uh, if it's a 32-bit machine that I highly unlikely I think your machine will be that but if it is use this one otherwise that how to find out if it's a 32-bit or 64-bit um, open up the Windows Explorer right click on this PC and then click on properties then it's going to show you what kind of operating system you have and here it's 64-bit so I know that and then what I will do in here is to actually click over there to download it wait for the download to, to get completed uh, then afterwards uh, click to open it and installation is pretty straightforward you don't need to do anything just click next 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 and install and it will install of course uh, give the admin rights to it the installation becomes uh, complete and it says run first start wizard. This is uh, uh, important if you want to actually use Tortoise Git to commit um, any code to uh, GitHub. So this becomes very helpful. So let that be and then click finish. It's going to run the wizard. Select the language that you want to choose and uh, uh, just click next. and. Uh, the, the path for uh, git exe automatically it selects it you don't need to uh, do anything again um, uh, then select the user ID and pass uh, the, 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 the name and the email that you want your, your uh, uh, git commits to be uh, tagged with now um, I want to use this for say another thing I'm gonna put over here demo at at farda.com so that becomes my email and then I'm gonna click next so any commit that I do is gonna be set to that one then don't touch anything over here and just click on finish and you're all set now tortoise git uh, when you install tortoise git it essentially allows you to uh, do all your uh, uh, git commands through uh, GUI. So say I want to, uh, I have done this already um, uh, and I'm going to do it again over here so in, in the previous video for installation of Git. So I'm going to go to GitHub um, so let's say I, oh that's the wrong repository, let me just go to the organization there we go. So I'll go to the organization and let's say I want to um, get all the archives of the OP24 OP24 board notes from the GitHub repository. So I'll click over here um, and go to enter the repository, then clone and download. And I'm going to say clone with HTTPS, and I'm going to click uh, uh, over this icon that is uh, that copies the URL into the um, clipboard, or you can click over here and right click and copy. Uh, after that, wherever I want this thing to be, let's say I want to put, put it in documents and over there I want to put it in OOP244. So I'll go right over here. Then you right click in this area and you say git clone. You uh, select git clone. You do that automatically, it's going to paste what you have in the um, clipboard into the URL and everything's already set. So this is an anonymous type of cloning which means it's an HTTPS and that's an open repository which means anybody can download uh, so we click over here and uh, click OK and it's going to do the exact same thing that it does uh, 
through uh, the command line but it does it through uh, GUI so everything is now uh, downloaded cloned on my repo on my computer so essentially I have a clone of the repository on github on my computer so if you look at here these are the directories I have in that repository now if I go over here and open it you'll see I have the exact same file structure over here and you go to any of those uh, you will see that it's essentially exactly the same thing now any time not this is the first time the cloning happens you get the repository on your computer now if anything changes in this repository and you want to get only the changes all you need to do is uh, with uh, uh, tortoise git is to right click on the repository and simply go tortoise git and pull by doing that it simply goes to the repository it knows exactly where it is and when you click OK it checks if there is anything updated anything any change it brings those changes to your repository and if there is no conflicts um, you'll be done uh, this is how to install tortoise git now the next video is going to be on to create uh, SSH keys so you can actually commit things back to uh, uh, GitHub. Thank you for watching.